هذا وتقدم معالي السيد أنتوني بلينكن وزير الخارجية بالولايات المتحدة الأمريكية لدى مغادرته مملكة البحرين بالشكر لحضرة صاحب الجلالة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه مؤكدا أن المحادثات مع جلالته كانت مثمرة وتم التطرق خلالها إلى الأوضاع في قطاع غزة واعتداءات الحوثيين الموجهة للملاحة في البحر الأحمر We're here in Bahrain as part of what has been an intensive diplomatic push across the region. Uh, Bahrain, of course, is a critical partner for the United States, home to the Fifth Fleet, and I want to thank His Majesty King Hamad for receiving us today and for the very good conversation. Um, we were focused uh, on making sure that the conflict uh, ongoing now in Gaza doesn't spread uh, to other places. That's been our focus since, uh, since October 7th, uh, and it remains our focus uh, today. Um, that makes it particularly important that we respond when we see something like the aggression coming from the Houthis that continues to be uh, repeated, directed at shipping in the uh, Red Sea. Uh, there have been uh, thousands, hundreds of attacks now since uh, November uh, on shipping in the Red Sea, affecting um, more than 40 countries tied to, to ships with, uh, from 40 different countries. Uh, and uh, we had the biggest attack, UAVs, missiles, just yesterday. Um, these attacks have been aided and abetted by Iran with technology, equipment, uh, intelligence, information, and they are having a real-life impact on people. You know, we talk about concepts like freedom of navigation and the importance of holding it. And I know that can sound a little bit uh, abstract, but it means something very real in the lives of people. What's happened because of these Houthi attacks against commercial shipping is that thousands of ships have had to divert, uh, take longer routes, pay more for insurance, and that gets translated into higher prices for people for everything from uh, fuel to medicine to food. It's disrupting supply chains. And so it's having a real impact on people around the world um, in uh, their daily lives. We know all about the hostages in Gaza. Well, the Houthis have taken more than 25 hostages from the ships that they've seized since, um, uh, since this fall. So all of this has required us, this, this challenge, this threat to the interests of countries around the world has required us to respond. We put together Operation Prosperity Guardian uh, with um, more than 20 countries, including uh, Bahrain, uh, to do everything we can to preserve freedom of navigation, freedom of shipping in the Red Sea. And in fact, uh, the United States and the United Kingdom, two participants in Operation Prosperity Guardian, responded effectively to the attacks just yesterday. Uh, we also had um, uh, some 20 countries come together to make clear that uh, if these attacks continue, as they did yesterday, there will be consequences. Uh, again, this represents a clear threat to the interests of countries around the world, and it's important that the international community come together and respond to them.